Good day everyone, my name is Adin Jane D. Galakdak from BSE 3D, Wilson's Theorem. This conjecture was first published by the English mathematician Edward Waring in Meditationes Algebraici, 1770, Thoughts on Algebra, where he ascribed it to the English mathematician John Wilson. The theorem was proved by the French mathematician Joseph Louis Lagrange in 1771. Wilson's theorem states that if a p is a prime number, then the quantity p minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod p. To prove this, the quantity p minus 1 factorial is congruent to quantity p minus 1 times the quantity p minus 2 times 1 times 2 times 3 and so on. To solve this, you have to pair each number with its inverse, except 0. Any non-zero number have an inverse. But there are some exceptions, such as number that is their own inverse, which are the solutions to x squared is congruent to 1 mod p. Then subtract 1 to each side, we will have x squared minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. Now we will have to factor x minus 1 plus x plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. Therefore, x minus 1 is equal to 0 mod p Con is congruent to x equals 1 mod p. And x plus 1 is equals to 0 mod p is congruent to x equals negative mod p. Or we can write it alternatively to x equals p minus 1 mod p. 1 and p minus 1 are their own inverses. But any other number multiplied by mod p can be paired with their inverses. That can be other number. Such as p minus 1 factorial is congruent to 2 times its inverse multiplied by 3 times its inverse and any number multiplied by its inverse except 1 and p minus 1 mod p. 2 times its inverse is equal to 1. 3 times its inverse is equal to 1 as well. And so on. Everything will be cancelled out and we're left with p minus 1 mod p, which is also congruent to congruent with negative 1 mod p, just like we solved earlier, which proves that the quantity p minus 1 factorial is equal, is congruent to negative 1 mod p. For example, 17 factorial mod 19. We, we will know that 18 factorial is equal to negative 1 mod 19 as we substitute 19 to p in the quantity p minus 1 factorial is congruent to negative 1 mod p. Then we can set up an equation x equals 17 factorial mod 19 and then multiply each side by 18. It will be equal to 18x equals 17 factorial times 18 is 18 factorial mod 19 congruent to negative 1 mod 19. Furthermore, we know that 18 is equal to negative 1. Then we will have negative 1x equals negative 1 mod 19 that tell us that x is equals to 1 mod 19. Another example is reduce mod 13 by the product 66 the, by the products 66 times 67 times 68 up to 77 which is congruent to 1 times 2 times 3 up to 12 mod 13 which we can write as 12 factorial mod 13 that we know that is congruent to negative 1 mod 13 by the use of p minus 1 factorial equals mod p.